Hi guys, today I'm going to show you just a couple of options for attaching weights to a harness. This is actually the Razer 2.5 harness, so one of the methods is exclusive to the Razer, um, but everything else is adaptable to, to every unit. Okay. The first thing I'm going to show you is really how we use something called the T-weight system. So it's a system that's particular to the Razer, and what it gives you is to run weights along the waistband using uh, an extra piece of webbing that's doubled over. So that's quite simple to use, so I'm not going to show you that one today. What I am going to show you is the other part of the T, which runs up the spine. When it's installed, you get some Velcro that's just wrapped around the spine. So I'm just going to take this off. And then what we have here, you have the actual spine of the webbing, which you can see here, this is what I've got with the inner tubes on there. Then there's actually a second piece of webbing, which is not part of the spine length, and it runs through the length of the back and then through a double width slot at the base of the lumbar plate. And this really acts as a, as a weight belt. So what we can do if we want to add some weight to it is we just unthread just the bottom part. Then this should pull out nicely. And here we are. So it's just a separate piece of webbing that's coming from the same top plate. We're now gonna do, we're gonna take the weight block and we're just gonna make sure that we put it the right way around. There's a flat part and just a slightly indented part. Now it's not a big deal, but that's gonna be marginally more comfortable on the back, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to thread the weight, just like a regular weight belt, through one. And through two. And this is where you can get the first part of the adjustment, where you can just move the block up and down the webbing to decide how far up and down you want it. You can move it later, it's no problem, but just to get it out of the way for now. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the end, and this is where you have the double width slot that's in the base. And we're just going to fold this and run that through there. So when, when we pull that through, what's important is that this T-weight has not shortened the spine. You can see that I'm by pulling these apart, you can see the slack on the webbing. So that tells me that I need to pull back a little bit of slack, and I want to make sure that when I pull them tight, it's the spine that gets taken up and not the actual T-weight piece. So I've got a small piece of excess now. So I'm gonna put the block where I need it. And now what I can do with the excess is I can thread it through a second time. There's one. And there's two. And what that's done is that's made sure that there's no way that weight block is gonna come off. Once that's on there now, can now come back and take the piece of Velcro. And all I'm going to do is just make sure that all of the loose pieces of webbing are now nicely held inside the Velcro band. And there you have it. One other system that's unique to the Razer is the new weight pocket. These weight pockets are designed to fit inside uh, as an extra layer. This isn't part of the actual lift that's coming from here. And then what these are doing is these are going inside. So just to show you that, there's um, the blanket or the, um, the plate runs over the entire wing and it has these slots. The slots, of course, are what 
these little fingers on the back will go into. And what they're designed to do is give you lift that's not going to interfere with the VCD. So you can also see that you can literally place those anywhere. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. And we will talk more about where you might want to put weights for different configurations. So just to show you how they work, quite simple. Take the weight block, pop it inside, float over the Velcro. I'm just going to go this way up. So I just make sure the catches are off. And what I'm looking to do is just come in the gap here and just to show you, create some slack. Decide where you want to put your weights. And then what you can see is that the two little um, hooks, you'll just tease those through the holes. So here they come. I'm going to pull those nice and clear. And on the other set of holes, it's just below the actual teeth. Just going to check that they're exposed. And then when these fold over, they just click into place. And that's now held. And we're just going to check that everything is through the wing. And there you have it.